Game four set to go on the ice tonight. Hi, everybody. I'm James Cebulski. This series has been sensational to this point. Let's see if it continues tonight. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Toledo's in transition. Puts it on net. Makes the club stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Some tassels won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. The fuel have the puck against the boards. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Moves it over to Limos. Indy's in on the offensive attack now. Great use of the twig as he pokes that one away. From the open ice, they gain the line. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Petruzzelli's been working so hard with the puck and without it. It's just not dropping for him. And when it doesn't drop, it can be extremely frustrating. You want to get points. You want to feel like you're contributing. Indies across the blue line. Chance in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. And that's broken up. The Walleye have taken possession along the wall. He got all of that one. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Great read with the stick. Quick feed to Keenan. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Battle along the wall. That knocks him off the puck. Back at the point, they set it up. Takes a shot. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Here's a shot. Traffic neutralizes that threat. Indy's got the puck in the defensive end. Hill is setting up against the wall. Here's a chance, and that goes wide. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas. They try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Indies won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? He makes an incredible save on a point playing shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. Taken by the court. Great use of the stick right there to poke it away. On the attack along the boards. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. And a tenacious effort pays off as he comes up with it. Here's a short pass to Bolmer. Takes the feed. Sends the pass over. Indy's got the puck against the half wall. Puts it on net. Turned aside with the glove by Bednar. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. The game is still scoreless. Toledo's won the draw. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Looks to make a play over to Anderson. Indy's ready to go on the attack. Off the left wing and into center. Dumps it in. Indy's got possession of the puck. Great read, comes up with it. Takes the feed. Oh, he gets a blocker on it, but a stop by Weeks. Quick pass to Anderson. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Tries to the crease. Oh, he destroys him on the play. 
Kalito's crossed the line and on the attack. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Walleye have gained possession off the wall. Musa quickly over to Barobo. Stops that one with a kick save. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Hawkins. Handles the puck. And he takes the feed. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. And that's hooked away. Cameron's lugging the puck. Cairns plays it along the wall. Moves it to Martin. Scores! Oh, that was a beauty! He's in a high-danger scoring area. He's got a bit of time, but he knows he's going to have coverage come to him right away. So a quick snapshot, and he buries it. Indy's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. they got to continue to execute if they want to wind up with a W at the end of this one. And that was stopped. Forces the turnover. Toledo's got it in their own zone. And he takes the feed. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Indy's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Toledo's got control of it now from their own end. Santazzo's got it against the boards. Shot! Oh, and it stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Weeks makes an incredible athletic save. I mean, he's at the top of his crease. The shooter is in the slot, and he keeps it out of the net. the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Shot! Great save by Weeks. Now this save looks easier than it actually is. I mean, when you have a shooter right in the slot and you know that you've got to find a way to get your glove on it, you got to be fast, you got to be quick and show those reflexes. He does that and makes the save. Keenan's won the draw here and they'll go on the attack. And puts it anywhere but the way he wanted it to go. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. There's a shot! Just slide to the net. The fuel have gained control of the puck along the wall. Inside the offensive zone. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. And he hangs on to the puck. A chance right in front! And he throws it wide of the net. Oh, this is a tough game, and you gotta fight for your scoring chances, James. And this just seems like a waste when he misses wide. Oh, no! And it's tucked away. Well, you gotta have some confidence and swagger to make this no hold barred play there, James, because if you miss the poke jack, guess what? It's in the empty net. Martin's been brought down, and we're gonna get a penalty here. Here we go, goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. Some good stick work to force that turnover. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Well, when you're looking for the equalizer, it's tough to take a penalty and play shorthanded, James. You've got to find a way to get to even strength so you can generate some offense. Well, this gives us our first chance to take a look at the team's power play unit. First power play opportunity of the game. You know they've worked on this in practice to set up the look that they want. Let's see how they move the puck around the perimeter and look to attack. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Slides it over with pace to Malone. Here's a chance to the middle. And that doesn't connect. And they manage to clear it. Takes the feed in the middle of the neutral zone. Trying it right to the front. with the paddle. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Hillis will take the face off here as this man advantage is about to resume. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Hillis. Drills him. More time off the clock as they grab the puck and manages to clear the zone. Takes a shot, denied by the goaltender. Saw 
Sawchuck's almost ready to get back on the ice. Puck slid down the ice. Sawchuck's now out of the box, and we are back to even strength. Well, the power play had a ton of ozone possession time, but it was all perimeter, and they didn't find ways to move the coverage. It was easy as a PK unit to stand in that box formation and not move. You have to find ways to create some motion and pull the coverage outside the dots. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 1-0 is where we sit at this point. Toledo's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Takes the puck. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Oh, so it's safe. And it's in the net. That's a goal. They're going to count that one. Oh, these goals are real deflators for the entire team. James thought he had a piece of it, and it just dribbles into the back of the net. He wants that one back. The setters will glide into the dot. Indies come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. First period almost in the books here, nearing the final 60 seconds. The Fuel have possession along the boards. That's love by Bednar. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important. There's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Anderson's got it now deep inside his own end. And that's broken up in the defensive zone by Keenan. Indies gain possession along the boards. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Shot! Here's a shot! Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Toledo's taking possession in the own end. Made that stop. There you go. Period number one is done. We're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. It's time for our hamburger bonanza. If the home team scores in the next two minutes, you can get a free hamburger courtesy of our arena. Well, let's see what period two has in store for us as they are about to drop the puck. And we are underway, still tied up here in the center. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Toledo's fortunate the game is still tied here. James, they have a minority of shots on net. They're going to have to get it some attack mentality, a sense of urgency, and drive the net. Steps inside. Shot just wide. He really bared down on his stick on that one. He got the velocity behind it, but it was nowhere near the net. Into the offensive zone. That's not going to fool him. Indy's got the puck along the boards. And they keep the pressure on. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. Lemos has the puck against the half wall. Sends a pass over. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Pion. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Indy's got a hold of it against the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Malone. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Toledo's got it in their own zone. They go on the attack through center. Fires it on net. That's blocked by Weeks. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Teams are lined up, and we are ready to take this draw. 
And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Makes the save. Picked up along the boards by McDougal. Indy's looking to break out. Puck picked up by McCourt. Poked away in the offensive end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Keenan's got it deep in the offensive end. Puck picked up by the ground. That opportunity is rejected. McTubal's tripped up, and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. The Walleye have to spend the next two minutes under man. Indy's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Turn that one aside. A player should... Wait, they're signaling a goal! It looked like he had it, but it looks like they're signaling a goal now! Well, this is an unlucky bounce, James. I mean, when you're a goaltender, you play your angles, you know your set positions, but you can't get set in a scramble like this, and it winds up in the back of the net. Indy's push here in the second is paying off as they now bleed by one. Well, you can certainly see the energy shift in the bench and the coaching staff talking to the team about continuing to push. Keep the pedal to the metal here. While you have your opponent down, you got to attack. Puck scooped up by Cameron. And now he angles it across to Malone. And he's knocked off the puck there. Moves the pass in front. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Right on the doorstep. Slides it quickly to Cameron. Puck grabbed by Baraldo. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Puts it in deep. Cameron's got it in the defensive end. Indy's moving it up the ice. Oh, he almost put him through the boards. Prabavessis works the puck in his own zone. Quick pass to Craigs. Up along the wing. And now it's grabbed by Franks. Takes the shot. Stops him with a glove. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James. But, man, he flashed the leather. He made the save. No rebound to boot. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. Indy's got a one-goal lead. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he denied that opportunity. Indy's got it against the boards. Dumps it in. Toledo's got the puck along the wall. Looking for space inside the D zone. McGrath's got it into offensive territory. Fires it. Stopped by the goaltender. That's an incredible save, James. I mean, he's got presence in his crease, and he's also got a great glove hand, and he shows it right there with that save. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Indy's got a hold of the puck. Here's a blast! Oh, great save by Weeks. You know the goalie's dialed in when he redirects the puck to the corner. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Toledo's got to find a way to break on through. They've had plenty of shots on net, and yet they trail here in period number two. Moves it quickly over to Pion. Off target! There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it and misses the net. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Indy's won the faceoff. Takes the shot. And that goes off course off the body. Play whistle dead. Penalty coming up. Tough spot to be in. You need momentum and you give it back by going on the PK when you're trailing by one.
Well, I really like them working off the 1-3-1 one, one sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. Slides the puck across to Malone. Moves it to Martin. Comes up with a monster save in front. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Limos will look to win possession here on the faceoff and try to continue this power play on the right note. Indies won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Can't connect. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the midway mark of the frame. Indy's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Toledo's got it in the defensive zone. A chance to clear. Kept in at the line as that's blocked. Yeah, it's a tough one for the PK unit. You got it on your stick. You got to find a way to clear. Instead, now, wait a second, James. I believe there's going to be a call right there. An infraction happens. Let's get the call. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. Huge opportunity for the power play as they'll start with a five-on-three. Five-on-three, so much ice available, you can't overthink it, but you have to have the ability to move the puck. Know which side? Well, you can't do that, or you're going to find your way marching over to the box. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. You're trailing by one, and you take the penalty. Not the way to get back in the game. Centers glide into the face-off dot, and a huge five-on-three power play looms. What an opportunity, a long five on three here, and this can turn the momentum, switch the entire game in their favor. They have to find a way to execute. Oh, he stops him with the glove, great reflexes there. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Keenan's won the draw inside his own end. And they get that puck down the ice. Tries to feed it over to Hillis. Strong defensive effort. Toledo's got the puck shorthanded. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Indy's got the puck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Back to the blue line. Quick shot. Scores! His first of the playoffs. And the rookie gets it done. Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer while well, the rookie an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression james these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team the rebound pops out after the shot you have to have the hard stick be heavy on it with it on the ice battle and compete for it he does it and he buries it Indy's now taking a two-goal lead here in the second. Well, that's a huge goal that's going to give him a two-goal cushion. You can see the excitement on the bench right now. That's all it takes to have an impact. They put it in the net. Now they can take a deep breath and go play with creativity. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Martin. Yeah, the officials caught that hat. Here's a chance. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. This is not the way they wanted the game to go. Just undisciplined, taking a ton of penalties. They'll have to reset and refocus if they want to find a way to get on top. And with the call, it's a huge opportunity for the power play, a five on three. On a five on three, sometimes the puck movement along the outside is too slow. You have to have perfect timing with that. It can be too fast as well. If you're going to work the puck from high to low, look cross crease. That back door might be wide open. Look at the set up offensively. Travis has served his time in the box, but the remain shorthanded. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Tazzle side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. The frozen miss gets dropped, and we are back underway here. Puck cleared from the defensive end. 
Indy's got a hold of the puck now. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? Indy's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Toledo's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Quick shot, and he comes up with it. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Keenan's gliding in for the faceoff as this penalty kill will continue. Indy's got it, and they're on the attack. Oh, that goes off the mask, and it stays out. Well, fortunate for him that these masks are made so well nowadays because he just got his bell rung. Cairns has it in the defensive end. Indy's through center right now in the offensive end. Here's the shot. And it's stopped by the glove. Nice play there. Indy's up for good reason. They have been the more complete team offensively, which is why they lead late in the second. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Trying to get back on the attack now. Malone stick handling in his own zone. Delayed penalty coming up here by the official. Puts it on net. The noise or he got all of it. Whistle blows, stopping the play. The walleye have been penalized for elbowing. Face-off circle, they'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice, repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. Stop by the goaltender. Bednar has been a game saver here tonight, James. I mean, his team certainly did not come to play. He's been consistent in the crease and giving them an opportunity. But if they don't find a way to rally, man, this is going to be a blowout. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Baker's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to off the post. Indy's trying to push the play and extend their lead here, but they're unable to do it. Puck puck doesn't go their way, and they hit the frame and out. And the puck clears the zone. Indy's looking to break out of their own end. McGrath almost back on the ice. Toledo's PK unit gets their man out of the box. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep bugging away here and not get complacent. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. The fuel have been relentless here in period number two, and I don't think they want this period to end. Well, they don't. They've got the comfortable lead. They're dictating play and pace, and you know that their coach can use the entire bench, and this is critical. You want to have that opportunity to look down and be able to go with anyone on it. for both the players, Ice, back with a third period next.
offense so far. Indy's been driving play all game. They set with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here, and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions, and then they can call this one a win. Sintasso's won the faceoff. Slides the puck over. Moves it around along the half wall. Picked off by Lemus. Slides the puck ahead to Cairns. Good hit on the play. The fuel have the puck against the boards. Here's a chance. And kept that one out of the net. Here's a short pass to Prepovesis. And he takes the pass. The fuel have taken possession along the wall. Malone's got the puck in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Lemos. From the point, they take control of it. With the stop. Martin's working it around in the corner. Grabbed along the board by Lemus. Off his stick. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. Skates to the crease. Quick pass to Pilon. He carries the puck up along the wing. Indy's got possession of the puck. Along the half wall with the puck. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. Takes the puck. And it's a quick pass to Cameron. And makes the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Indy's on total cruise control early in this third period. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Toledo's got a hold of the puck. And he slides it quickly to Keenan. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. And a stiff break set up. Here's a chance in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Here's a shot. The Fuel have gained possession off the wall. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Center in the front. Couldn't complete the pass. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Here they are on the attack. That's blocked. Denies him in front. There's another consecutive slam. There's another stop. That's a fantastic sequence of saves there, James. He was so dead. Baker's taking it from his own end. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. He does a great job of finding position in tight here and corrals that rebound and goes up over the glove of the goaltender. That's a beauty shot. have continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Craig's is tripped up, and we've got a penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. The Fuel have to serve two for tripping. Toledo's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they've earned their first power play of the game. A tone setter right here and an opportunity to look at the coverage on the setup. Battle ensues for that loose puck along the boards. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Into the attacking end. The fuel have taken over in the neutral zone. And they get the puck out. Nice poke check. Taken by Prepovesis. Shot. Oh, there's a great save by Weeks. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Can't hang on after that hit. Handles the pass. Toledo's got the puck against the boards. Puts to the point. Scores! And they finally stop the bleeding and answer back.
And there's time on the clock. There's an opportunity to answer. Well, he's right in the slot, that prime scoring area, and he corrals it on his back end. That's a great play to get it off quickly. The Walleye haven't looked very good at all tonight, but here we go with something in the third. You know the staff is going to be proud that they fought right to the end here, but they'll look to utilize their bench knowing that this game is out of reach. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pilon. With the steal. Let's see what the officials are calling. And yet another penalty is called, so out comes the PK unit, and you know what? They are taxed, they are worn down. If this continues, it's all going to backfire. Indy's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. The power play has seen success tonight, and I like what they've been doing, James, just reading the ice that they've been given. Nothing static, a lot of motion, and really reading where the places to attack is. Bittner's opted to hang on to the puck for a faceoff. Sawchuck's ready for the draws. They will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Indy's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Here's a chance in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. From the slot, fires away, desperately trying to get it out of the road. Indy's got to be impressed with this game tonight. Certainly their coaching staff anyways. It looks like their team has bought in, trust the process, and finding a way to get it done. Just look at the scoreboard, James. They're doing everything they can to get those numbers higher. On the attack along the boards. Find some space in the corner. Here's a feed in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. been way more active here tonight on the ice and they have certainly capitalized on their opportunities and continue to lead in the third. Keenan's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save by Weeks. Lang's carrying it ahead. Chance in front and he comes up big with the stick save getting all of it with the paddle. Love the way the goaltender gets tight to the shooter here. The puck's in the low slot. You want to take away time, you want to take space. Goaltender does it, makes the save. Sends it in on the attack. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Toledo's got the puck in the defensive end. Gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Take it along the wall by Kravonesis. Here's the official call. The Fuel haven't handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. And the man advantage unit goes right back to work. Having success earlier on the power play, they recognize where the openings have been. But what I love about it is they're not afraid to change it up. The motion on this power play and these sequences have really been the reason they've been successful. Sintazzo's ready for the draw on this man advantage. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Here's a chance. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Excellent stick work on the play. Oh, what a save! He stopped it! Wow! Oh, that's an intangible effort that you can't teach, James. That's all about desperation and the will to stop that puck. They're really clicking here in the offensive end. All sorts of pressure. And they've got him in their own end now. Separating body from puck. Turned aside with a glove by Weeks. 
Indy's offense has put on a show tonight, and here they are in blowout mode late in the third. Off the draw, they take possession. Indy's got it across the line. Broken up by Barobo. Takes control of the puck. Dishes it to Santazzo. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Santazzo's exploring options with the puck. Puts it on net. Love save made by Weeks. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Indy's offense, the story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Indy's got it in their own zone. Into the offensive end now. Here's a shot. And that goes off a player in front. And he takes the dish. Poked away in the defensive end. Good battle along the boards for the puck. The Fuel have gained possession off the wall. Feeds it over to Cameron. Lays into the body. Loose puck and they're off to the races. Moves it over to Cairns. And he comes up with it. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. There's a solid collision. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. And now he moves it quickly to Bowler. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Walleye have the puck in their own zone. Moves it quickly over to Keenan. McGrath's got it along the wing. Slides the puck down low. The Fuel have possession along the boards. They wrapped up here late in the third. They have capitalized on many scoring chances tonight. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. The Walleye have the puck in the defensive zone. There's the final horn, and that'll do it here this evening. Four games into this series, two wins at one end of the ice and two at the other after the response tonight. Yeah, and the runway's getting shorter, right? Which means the intensity is ramping up. And hey, when teams play four games back-to-back -back against one another, guess what? He gets heated anyways. Well, that puts a bow on the night here this evening from all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. See ya.